everyone, it's been a while since, since I last vlogged So sorry for my tongue tightness Because I, I don't know, I, my tongue keep, you know, just go haywire recently But anyway, it is quite a while since I last vlogged And I have been travelling to Malaysia quite frequently Because now that the borders are open And I don't really feel like taking the plane Because a lot of people will be sitting beside you and it will be very crowded so I wouldn't brave that so I would prefer to drive in so I've been driving to Malaysia for quite some time already like we went to KL, we went to Klang, we went to many other areas in Malaysia so our next goal now is first to explore JB and we saw on an online article from Goody Feet shared by him right that um there is this hidden mall called the Sutera Mall You know, in between Bukit Indah and also the causeway at um, Woodlands So we are quite uh, excited We are going to um, drive there now So we will keep you updated on whether the article is accurate or not And whether this mall is worth visiting or not You will pass by Paradigm Mall I have I think I've come here before But I cannot really remember It must have been quite some time Before Covid happened Yeah but oh well We have to continue going straight In order to reach um, this Sutera Mall I, I think it's near Skudai Now we are already somewhere near Skudai anyway Okay Not sure if you guys can see But uh, we are actually at Sutera see that they have this library over here and I suspect that even to this area is also Sutera Mall so let's you know approach a bit nearer to see what you know how big they actually are okay yes so I'm right this entire building is Sutera Mall so we are going to park automated system let's see what's the parking rates oh first two hours is only rm1 okay okay tap touch and go oh okay okay sure hold on okay first impression i need to say it's a chore to find parking around here but oh my god hi jila opening soon oh my god wait hold on let me try to oh my god ah, wait oh my god hi jila opening soon Is it? Is it cheap? I, I, I don't one, know. One hour, 35 ringgit. Oh, okay. That's about 30 SGD, is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh. That's the entrance. We're reaching the entrance. The mall looks quite old, but it looks like there's a lot of things. Right. Just like KSM. Yeah, because usually I think so far all the malls that I've been to is quite new, but this mall is quite old looking, especially with the structure and everything. But it seems like they have so many things, and I think there's some event going on because there's a lot of cosplayers over here. Oh my god, I'm not sure if you see them, but yes, there's a lot of them. We are at Aeon Big now. Um, it is actually at the most top floor of Sutera Mall. Uh, and we bought quite a few stuff because the potato is quite cheap. Like one bag of Holland potatoes, which is this one. One bag cost about RM 
599 so it's about wait 399 yeah so it's about $1.30 or so and we also bought some veggies for the week over here these are um, more worth it over here because lime in Singapore I, for some reason is very expensive even if you go to Mustafa area Little India it's still quite expensive yeah no I don't think I want to get anything here yeah so it's just a supermarket I would say that it's not very big it's okay I would prefer shopping at Aeon Mall and sometimes I would prefer to go to Lotus like Tesco Lotus because I, I mean now it's bought back by CP so now they are called Lotus and with the rebranding but um, if you say all oh, your car you know professional and stuff it's cheaper at Lotus but if you say normal groceries it's fine to buy from here yeah so oh well here we are trying to explore like food places this is hot, hot, eh? yeah this is hot, hot. Not yeah and so sorry for my terrible angle guys i didn't bring my what's that called the stand that holds the phone gimbal, uh. gimbal. i didn't bring my gimbal so <laughs> it's going like up and down left and right so sorry but yeah so you can see this is taco dia quite cute there's so many people here because of the event that is going on so i've taken some photos with the cosplayers there are so many of them this is the entrance of the mall and here you have Baskin Robbins everywhere is cheaper than in Singapore obviously so you see this bakery with a lot of people queuing up I haven't been inside, I'll try Yeah, it's a bakery. You can see the event, there's so many people. Like, so many. to be in a place where it's quite lively this place reminds me of um, JQ you know is it? yeah JQ and uh, Boogie Street and Far East Plaza it's some, some sort of the same concept where you have multiple little stores yeah Swenson's ice cream And this shabu smells so good. Okay, we are going in. We are having hot pot. Um, but Hai Tilao is opening here soon, so probably the next time we are here, it will be Hai Tilao already. But you know, it, it's, it's quite standard in Malaysia where hot pots are like that. And um, food hygiene standard is a bit lower, but it's okay because my stomach is quite used to Malaysian food anyway. <laughs> Yeah, actually I kind of like Kulai Food Street but um, we're quite easy to drive there today uh, so we are just going to end our day here Yeah, so now I just came out from JB Custom and there, were, there wasn't much jam but when I was exiting I actually see a lot of cars coming in and there was a very very rare long queue and jam I think my husband and I we have been traveling to Malaysia a lot so we kind of know when is the peak period and when is the off peak period so we basically came out at the off peak period so we didn't have any queue uh, exiting Malaysia but I think if you're entering Malaysia at this time around 8 30 p.m it would be a very long jam for you yeah so wrapping up my thoughts about Sutera Mall is it called Sutera? Sutera I don't know so, okay anyway um wrapping up my thoughts for Sutera Mall is that there really isn't much really isn't much not worth you uh, driving all over uh, I mean all the way to um, the, the brim or like um, the, the edge of Skudai for it but um, I, I think that there are quite a few cafes that have really really nice ambience outside uh, of the mall I mean nearby also at the edge of um, Skudai uh, I think those 
cafes will be worth visiting and they are on my to visit list now because we passed by and we realized that there are really quite a few of them that have really really nice ambience and very close to nature with really good coffee I mean good reviews and also a reasonable price as from what I'm seeing versus the prices in Singapore for cafes like that so I think if it is for like a date with my husband I would choose to go to those cafes to try them out Yes, uh, but if, if you ask me if I would drive there just to visit the mall again and when there is no event over there, I would say no. I mean, the Aeon is not that big. It's not that... Um, there's, it's not like a mega mall where you have uh, a lot of things, like electronics, you don't have that all over here. It's just a very normal Aeon mall, uh, actually big Aeon supermarket. It's not even Aeon mall. It is just a very simple... Um, supermarket upstairs it reminds me of KSL it reminds me of City Square it doesn't excite me I think like for the places that I've actually been to in Malaysia this is this will be the le less preferred mall that I will go so it is not that it's not worth that much of attention or like worth for you to drive about 20 to 30 minutes there from the custom because that there, there is a jam that there, there will be a jam to go to Sutera because there's so many locals um going there and driving over the weekend and um in that area so I I really will not recommend because there are many other malls that are closer, there are other malls that are further but easier to drive to and yeah I think that is all for my thoughts today wrapping up everything and i would love to you know share with you the places that i go to in malaysia that i frequent because those places are really fun and there are a lot of things to eat and also a lot of things to shop so i usually go to those places rather than um just just going to the malls lah. so thank you for watching weekends to malaysia with me um yeah with me so that is all for my first episode of weekend to malaysia <laughs> okay just kidding but if you like this video do like and subscribe and also if you would like me to visit any of the malls in johor that you see like articles posting about them then yeah feel free to let me know in the comment section below and i will see if i have the opportunity to explore the, there you know before you even have to visit them yourself